everyone. Welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. It's Dollar Tree Haul Day. I have Benny in here. Um, he's on my lap here. He's laying down. He doesn't know what's going on. He's like, why am I in here? But um, I told you guys about him last week that he was getting his surgery. So I figured bring him in here to say hello. Do you want to say hello? He's a Cavalier King Charles, Charles Spaniel. And he's almost seven months old. And uh, he had to go get neutered last week. And yeah, he wasn't a happy camper. But he did really good. By the next day, he was up and running and just having a good old time. So say hi, everybody. He's like, why am I in this room? I'm not allowed in here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to flip everything over here, guys. And we're going to go over to the uh, my craft table there so I can show you everything I found today at the Dollar Tree. Say bye. Okay, so... Luckily, this Dollar Tree did have my garbage bags. Um, when I went Tuesday, I could not find them. They didn't have any. Some Dollar Trees carry them. Some Dollar Trees never seem to have them. But these are the good scents with the handles, the vanilla scented. Um, you get 10 in here. I love these garbage bags. We use these all the time. I'm always telling everybody. You guys probably heard me say it a million times. But if you're new, love these bags. But these are the, yeah, the 13-gallon ones. You know, kitchen size garbage bags then of course i did pick up a bag just one of the haribo peach gummies i love these it's a four ounce bag actually if you really check these bags sometimes this one actually feels like a it was double stuffed like this should have been two separate bags because this one is so full of these gummies and the other ones are nowhere near as full as these so I only found one that was like that. Believe me, after I found this one, I checked the other ones, but there wasn't any more that were double, fill, double filled. But, you know, if you're lucky, maybe you'll find one. So I was excited about that. And then I did pick up another one of the Haribo watermelons. These seem like they're getting less and less, too. But whatever. This is a 3.1 ounce bag of the watermelon gummies. I love these. You guys know. I love them both. Peach is my favorite, though, right now. So... These things I was so excited to find. I have never seen these at Dollar Tree before, and these are these candle holders. They're like a metal candle holder, um, and I think we could do a lot of different things with these. So I picked up four of each one because I'm thinking Christmas crafting or any other time of the year crafting with these candle holders. And some of them don't look quite straight, but they do you can kind of straighten them out and bend them back a little bit if they look a little bit crooked. So I was kind of thinking, I don't know. but. I got those and then they have this size here and they're a little bit different. They have more of a fluted top on these. Um, these are going to be great. You could paint these, um, use them in different like floral arrangements or, you know, just in with your decorations. Put some nice candles in here. You could use flameless candles if you have the tapered flameless candles. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then they had one more size. They had three different sizes. So I thought this would be great, especially if you want to do something, you know, that goes up you know the different sizes or whatever you want to make with these um you could even use these a base to put you know like some kind of a decoration on top of um i just think there's a lot you can do with these little candle holders and since they're metal which is great you can easily spray paint these any color you want if you don't want them in black i think these would look really pretty in that kind of um antique white color too maybe a little distressing ink on there to make them look fancy but I really like those. I was so happy to find those. So I figured I'd better get a set of each one before they disappear. Because you guys know what happens at the Dollar Tree. Especially when they come out with something new like that. Alright. I did find a bunch of ornaments that I haven't seen before. I picked up one of these. It's all like these little silver beads. Um, it's really pretty. And I love these berries on here. It's very nicely done. Um, and it's hooked on here with this wire. But yeah, I really like that. I thought that was really, really pretty. They have it going this way, actually. But yeah, isn't that pretty? That would look so pretty on a tree, you know, with your different colored lights or whatever you use. I just thought that was really nice. And then they also had it in a star. And I just think the decorations on it are really nice. You know, sometimes their stuff is just kind of, you know, skimpy and shabby looking. But these are really, really nice. And I was just very impressed you know how pretty these were and I think that'll look really nice on the tree so that's what those are for I don't them do anything special with those they're just going on the tree um, I picked this up here you have your little flying unicorn or a pegasus or I don't not sure what that is 
I'm saying unicorn. It's got the little unicorn on there. And that's just a clear plastic. And it has some like glitter and stuff on the wings. But I thought that was really pretty. Something different. I've never had that one before. I mean, some of these, they may have been out before. And I've just never seen them because that happens. And I love these little snowman decorations. It's just like a styrofoam ball that has that fuzzy material on there. But look how cute the faces are on these. Isn't he adorable? Um, and has this real tall hat. And he has all the pretty... And I just think the decorations they're putting on here are much nicer than usual. They're just, you know, they're just nicer. That's all there is to it. And everything, this is just called snowman ornament. But isn't he cute? And then I picked this, this picked up this other guy here. His hat's a little bit different. They had him in a couple little different colors. It's not much different, but it's a little bit different. But I just love their faces. I thought they were so cute. So I grabbed two of those little guys. Don't know what I'm doing with them yet. One may go in a DIY or they both might just go on the tree. Now these I thought were really pretty too and different. And these are just little like wreath ornaments. And they have this real like fleece um, covering over it. And I love the um, black and white bow on this one here. And it's got the little bell. It doesn't run. And the other one jingles. This one doesn't have a jingler in it or it's stuck. Oh, it is stuck in there. Maybe I can pop that loose. Well, they're supposed to jingle. <laughs> But I thought those were really pretty. And you could add more to this if you wanted to. Um, but they're very, very nice. And then I picked this one up too. This one has the red bell. See, that one jingles nice. And the berries. And the, these could be used as a little straightening out here. But sometimes if you just wet these a little bit, use a little heat or hair dryer on them, you can just straighten these right out pretty good. You just don't want to loosen up your hot glue. But... Yeah, I just think the decorations on those are very, very nice. All right, so we have those. Let's see, did I get any more ornaments? Oh, yes. These, I thought these were really pretty. Look how pretty these are. They all, like, have, like, mirrored little pieces on it. And they're just, whoops, white. Get back here. I just thought those were so, so pretty. It's got some fuzzy stuff to it. But, yep, not doing a thing with these. These are just going on the tree because I think, again... With the lights and things, these are going to be so pretty. So I picked up that one, and then they had another one in gold. Not really a gold gold. I don't know what you want to call that. But it, look at that. Look how pretty. It's just when the light hits it, they're absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, so I got those. Some more new. I need some new decorations. I have so many decorations for my tree. But, you know, every once in a while, I can pop on a couple of new ones. I think that's all I got ornament-wise. Um, I did pick up some of these berries. They had these. In, they have this listed as floral and garden, but it was in with the Christmas stuff. And these are just little red berries. And they're a nice size berry. You can see, you know, they're a lot bigger than the normal little berries they have in these packages. And these look like they have a little bit of snow on them. And then they also had these. I love the size of these. I'm so glad they're coming out with some bigger ones now. And these are called small berries. I don't know if they're going to come out with large berries. But yeah, they're really nice. It says you get 36 pieces in here. But again, they're listed as the floral and garden section. But these were actually hanging with all the Christmas stuff that they have out right now. I can't wait to see what they come out with after fall and uh, Halloween stuff's put away. I just can't even imagine what more there could possibly be. I just found so much stuff. Um, these were new. I haven't seen these before. I'm going to have to get some batteries and try these out. Um, these are Hanging Silhouette Santa, and he lights up with red LEDs. I don't know if you can see them in there, too. Let me find something to put behind here. What do I got? Nothing? <laughs> I never have anything close by when I have an idea here. Oh, here. Let me take this green mat. I have this green mat here that's covered in glitter, but there we go. Oh, yeah, you can see it a little bit better. See how it's like clear, but it's a Santa, and it says it lights up in all red LEDs. So I'm going to have to get some batteries. It says it takes three, I believe, three AAA batteries to light up your little Santa. But how cute would that be, like in a kid's room or something, or even in a window? And then, oh, let me keep this out because I have another one. This one is just a star. Same thing, and it has like an ornament thing. You could actually decorate that up too if you wanted to. That's where your batteries go in there. And there's a little switch on the side to turn them on and off after you hang them. And that's 
your little hanger there that you would hang it up and it just hangs down you can turn them on and this one um, has the warm white LEDs in it and again I'm pretty sure that's probably three AAA batteries yep but I thought that was really cute I like those a lot or even for just into somebody's room that you know needs a little cute little decoration hanging I don't know I love them I like to find anything new it just makes me really excited <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we got here. I did pick up two scarves. They're coming out with the scarves and things again. And I love these for DIYing with. Um, I've made my little snowmen and what else did I do? The penguins and things. And to make their little hats and things, these are just absolutely perfect because they're kind of a, they're not real thick and heavy. I mean, they're a very nice scarf if you want to have it just for a scarf. I mean, I'm sure that would keep you really nice and warm. And this is the juncture. They're 59 inches by nine and a half inches. So yeah, but I love to DIY with these because they're perfect. You could even make little small pillows out of these. You could sew them together, probably make a big pillow out of this if you cut it out just right. Yeah, I don't see why not. That could be a nice big pillow, actually. Anyway, I always have so many ideas. Never enough time to do all my ideas. But then I also found one in this red and black check. Now this one has like the little... Um, yarn tassels on it and this one did not this one's just plain which is fine because like i said i just like to use these for all kinds of things you could even use this for a table runner if you wanted to put your decorations on i think that would be absolutely perfect actually i might do that on my kitchen table i think that would be perfect to put a bunch of little things on and not have to worry about it getting ruined or anything yeah, that actually, like I said, it's 50, 59 by 9.5 inches. So yeah, that would be great for like a table runner. And then I picked up this coffee cup because, you know, I'm addicted to coffee cups. And this one says Gnome for the Holidays. And I absolutely love these. I love the size of this because I like me a big cup of coffee. I don't want none of them little, little coffee cup cups of coffee. <laughs> so this is perfect. It says it's microwave safe and dishwasher safe. So that's great. And um, yeah. I should have got two. I don't need any more coffee cups. That's my whole problem. I was going to pick up a couple of them, and I'm like, no, because I don't even know where I'm going to put it. But I will use this for the holidays. I, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> These are so darn cute. Now, this jar, I picked one of these up last year. I have not seen them since. It's just called uh, Luster Glass Vase, and these are so, so pretty. I did a DIY with these. I can't remember what I put in the top of it. But I put the, the little fairy lights inside. Oh my gosh, this thing, it looks like it's got like all kinds of little like candy pieces on it or whatever you call those. I can't think right now. Like the little jimmies you would put on a ice cream cone or something. And then it has like that starburst or flower in the center. And let me tell you, when you put fairy lights in this little jar, it looks amazing. So I'll have to do something again. I don't remember which one I did that for. I've done so many of these things lately that I just don't remember. And that was a while ago, actually, for this thing. But I can't remember what I put in there. I'll have to look back in my videos. But I want to make something else with this for Christmas because it just looks real pretty. And this would be something nice to do for after Christmas if we just wanted to put, like, some pines, pine and some uh, pine cones or something in it and just have it to light up for the rest of the winter after Christmas is over because, you know, it's just very blah once you take down all those decorations. So that would be a really cool idea for that, I think. Now, these I found last year, too. Did I only get one of these? I thought I picked up two. Oh, now I'm sad. I thought I had two of these, but I guess I only got one. These are these pine mini pine picks. I found these last year at the very end of the season. It was like probably the week before Christmas that I actually found these at Dollar Tree and I picked up a couple. I thought I picked up two, but I'm only seeing one. Nope, that's not it back there. Huh. Maybe I did only grab one because actually these were hanging with these berries. So I probably got excited over the berries and just grabbed one of these. Well, hopefully I can find another one. Cause like I said, last year I found them one time. I'll hold up their little there's like a little tiny bit of gold like glittering to it in there. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I only found a couple last year, right at, right before Christmas, and I grabbed a couple. So they got to be downstairs in my garage in my Christmas stuff yet. But I'm going to have to go back and see if I can find another one before they disappear. Now lights. I found some really cool lights. 
I think these are wonderful. I just got to get myself some more batteries. I don't know why I did not pick up any more batteries. But I want to pop this open because you have to see these snowflake lights. They usually had the, oh, come here, scissors. The little, you know, little bitty snowflakes. But these are so much bigger. And there goes that alarm again. I swear every time. I said this yesterday in a video. That every time I start a video, something happens. <laughs> but look how big these snowflakes are. So much bigger than the other ones. I love these. These are so, so pretty. I definitely want to do some kind of a centerpiece with these in there. And look how many you get. How many's on here? I didn't even read that. There's ten. Ten of them on here. That would be so pretty in a centerpiece. With some pines and some snowflakes and... Ugh, I love those. And then these here, these are um, these are icicle lights. And I think those are really cool too. Now what do these take? These have five LED um, icicles. Uh, these are probably the double A's. That's what that looks like. Sorry, I'm trying to find it on here. Yeah, two double A's that go in these. But those look really pretty too. So I gotta get some batteries so we can light all these up and see what they look like. Maybe if I get my batteries, maybe Tuesday, um, if I get back out. I want to get back out to the Dollar Tree because I want to hope I can find more of those. And maybe I'll get some batteries and we can light these up and see how they look. And that way you can make a... Well, I wouldn't even wait because the last time that anything came out like this, like the little trucks and things that had the lights on them last year, I saw those too, the little, um, little red trucks uh, lights too. They had them back out again, but I didn't get any because I think I still have a couple of those. But I thought these were awesome, so I bought two of each one of these. So yeah, we're going to have to get some batteries. Light these up and see what they look like. I could probably steal batteries out of something else, but I don't want to do all that. Alright. Let me put this here. And then I picked up these. This is the only thing I got in the crafter. Oh no, it isn't. I'm lying. I got two different things in the crafter square. It was just some of these they're calling them wood hanging decor that you can like decoupage on or make anything on but wouldn't that make like a cute little ornament you could make with this to hang they're not real heavy they're thick but it's not it's like a pine it's not very heavy but you can make pretty much anything with these so I picked up two of those because I thought I like the way this is cut out it's just a nice design and then the other thing I got in the crafter square was glitter because I had to stock back up on more glitter for the holidays and they have cases of these in again. They haven't had them for a while. So I got the gold. And I like it because it's that really fine, fine glitter. It's not the big chunky glitters. And then they had it in the silver. And it's pretty, pretty blue. And then they had this orange too. That would be cool for like fall or whatever. And then there's the green. And I got it in the red. So I thought those were really nice. The only thing I didn't see and what somebody had said to me the other day was they haven't seen the glue sticks in a long, long time. And I looked yesterday and there was nothing. No glue sticks. Or no, it was Tuesday, not yesterday. Tuesday, because today's Friday. <sighs> yesterday. Anyway, Tuesday I looked and today and there is either one of those Dollar Trees that I went to this week. None of them had the glue sticks. So... Apparently, there's a shortage on the glue sticks, so I'm going to have to get some at Michael's or something. But anywho, in the Christmas stuff, I did find these cute stickers. I thought these were adorable. They're all gnomes, and they have that, like, they look almost like glass, like a clear plastic. They're really, really nice stickers, and you get 11 in there, and there's one with a little reindeer in the um, stocking. And then you have all your little gnomes. There's some mittens over there. Just, they're really cute. And they're whole, all holding like a uh, string of Christmas balls or bulbs or lights. Aren't they adorable? Is that focusing? There we go. And then I got this one here. Some more of your little gnomes. Look at these guys, how cute they are. And what do you get in this one? There's 12 stickers because it has some candies and it has some snowflakes and things too. And I really like these. These guys are great. These would be great to put like on an envelope or something. Eh, maybe not an envelope. Might not go through the mail with these on there. But I really like them a lot. And then they also had these little guys here. And this one, they're all just either holding a present or a wreath 
for a little ornament and then you got some snowflakes and poinsettias and things and yeah aren't they cute look at those little guys but this is a 14 piece set too and then the last thing I got here guys was another set of the words they have these out every year and this is just the peace joy and believe and they're just the metal words that you can use and I like to paint them or whatever if you're gonna add them to something you can do whatever you want with these little things leave them as like the you know looks like metal or you know like I said chalk paint works really good on these and then you just take some E6000 and glue them onto whatever project you're working on but yeah it's a really they're really nice size so I got a set of those all right so I'm gonna clean up this mess and we will bring in little P and see how he's doing today and I will be right back all right, here's a little pee. I put some of this stuff back on my desk because maybe he was freaking out because everything was gone. But I actually need the room sometimes when I'm crafting, so I had to move this stuff. But they're back. This box here actually has my butterfly fla and flower stamps and die sets in here. That's where I keep those. But we moved it because he was... And he's been really funny, so maybe he did miss all this stuff being here because I put that stuff there for him to steal, but he thinks he's stealing it. That's one of my old brushes, <laughs> sponge brushes, so he can rip that apart if he wants to. But see, that may just have been it. Maybe he missed his froggy and ladybug friend back there. They need to get cleaned off. Look, they got glue stuck on them and they're dusty from sitting down here. Huh. Alright, so I guess when you're coming in, you need your frog and your ladybug friends. <laughs> it just gets so cluttered in here with some of the stuff here, and I needed the space to do some crafting, so I figured I'll just take the boxes off. Well, I guess little P is just not having it. And people ask me, why don't you have little P doing crafts? There you go. <laughs> yeah, talking about you. <laughs> You goofball. This is what he would do to all of my brushes and all of my stuff. Plus, I can't have him in here if I'm using glue or anything because they only have little air sacs. <clears throat> they don't have, you know, like lungs like we do. So, gotta be very careful with all these smells and glues and things like that. So, he's only in here when everything's closed up and there's no more wet paint around or anything. Oh, that's it, you're finished. Now you want your yucca wood. I've been trying to give him that for two weeks and he didn't want it. Well, you could turn around here so people can see you. There you go. No, you're trying to see. You can have it, it's yours. Yeah. Well, I guess you guys are right. A couple people told me maybe it's because you moved the boxes and everything that had the frog and stuff on. And I honestly think that's it, because now that they're there, he's fine. You're so funny, P. You go, P, go. Oh, I'm going to have to get your bucket. Oh, I don't want, well, I don't think we want the sponge pieces, though, mixed in with your wood pieces. I'm just moving the sponge pieces. Don't yell at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, here we got to add that to your collection. Where's your little bucket? It's over here somewhere. Oh, it's underneath stuff. We'll add that to your... I'm not touching it! He gets mad if he thinks I'm going to take it or something. Believe me, I'm not taking it. You're happy? Get it, P. Just turning you a bit. There you go. Good. Okay, so apparently I have to have my box with my frog and ladybug on it when little P comes to visit. I guess they've become friends or something. I don't know. Are you happy now? I know I never did. I was going to get my husband to cut this piece in half for me, but I never even remember to do it. But I didn't think he would take it whole because he didn't seem to want it, but I guess it's just he just missed his friends in here. That's a nice hard one. It's got a lot of like bark on this one. That one might take you a minute. <laughs> I 
You are something else, P. Well, I don't think people are going to want to watch you do the whole thing. I mean, maybe you will. I don't know. But... <laughs> I think maybe we'll take this back out to your house and you can finish this up later. Or now. You can finish it. That's a real hard piece. Oh, that beak. Let me tell you, if he wants to bite you, he can bite hard. As you can see. <laughs> oh, he's getting <laughs> Did you seriously just hit yourself in the head with it? Oh my goodness. Really? You're getting mad at it? <laughs> okay, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen you do. Oh my gosh, talk about your little kid having a temper tantrum. Well, don't be hitting yourself in the head. <laughs> oh, he is getting so mad at that. Would you rather play with this? At least if you hit yourself in the head with that, it's not going to hurt. Boy, talk about your spoiled little brat, huh? <laughs> He's going to scratch your head with it. You are something else, pig. All right, well, we're going to get Daddy to cut this in half before you give yourself a concussion. What do you think? I don't want to give it back to you. <laughs> you don't even want it back. All right, well, we're going to try and get this thing busted in half. I can't do it. Well, anyway... That was something new for everyone to see, and me. I've never seen him hit himself in the head before. Oh my goodness, talk about your spoiled little temper tantrum. Look at him looking at me. He's got his eyes half squinted. Yeah, you talk, they're talking, look up here. Yeah, they're watching you. All right, everybody. I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Say bye, everybody. Say bye, P. And we will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.